Welcome to the Supermicro Storage Summit. Cloud storage performance, scale, and reliability will be key enablers of high growth markets. The storage market has been moving from monolithic single vendor solutions to open software defined solutions over the last decade, similar to cloud computing. Computing moved from a scale up mission critical to scale out cloud services. Compute and storage achieve the same cloud benefits. Different types of cloud storage for different markets. Today, we will hear insights on the latest in storage solutions from industry leaders, including Charles Liang, founder, president, CEO, and chairman of the board of Supermicro. Diraj Pandey, founder, CEO, and chairman of Nutanix. And Tarkin Manir, chief commercial officer. Rob Crook, senior vice president and general manager, Intel NSG, followed by an overview of Supermicro's server and storage products. Here to introduce to you how Supermicro solutions are better, faster, and greener, Charles Liang. Good day, everyone. Welcome to join our storage virtual summit. My name is Charles Liang, and I'm the president and CEO uh, of Supermicro Computer Inc. And uh, today, very appreciate your participation. And I'd like to take this chance to introduce the uh, Supermicro storage hardware total solution. Not just hardware, but how do we offer you the best hardware solution and uh, the software, firmware, and the service so that you work with Supermicro, you have concern free for all of your hardware related product. Supermicro have a building block solution since 27 years ago. With building block solution, we are able to design product much faster, much more efficient than our competition. Uh, for most of the case, two months to six months faster time to market is achievable. And building block solution not just uh, uh, good for uh, design stage, save time, but also uh, help us uh, optimize uh, hardware manufacturer economic cost and uh, make our inventory uh, much more efficient and make our uh, global support much easier, including uh, uh, on-site service. Uh, we are able to take care of all of those for you. Again, Supermicro uh, because of building block solution, so we are able to offer much more efficient, much bigger product line than anyone else in the world. Uh, since, uh, you know, start from uh, uh, traditional server storage, 1U, 2U, 3U, 4U, or tower, whatever form factor you like, we are able to offer our standard uh, server storage product for you. For higher density, uh, JBAC, we have, uh, for example, uh, for you, um, up, uh, kind of vertical loaded and uh, uh, solution for you. With uh, for you uh, enclosure, we are able to support uh, uh, 45 bay, 60 bay, 90 bay, or even more than 90 bay uh, for your uh, application. And the enclosure here can support a single node, dual node, or multiple node, uh, or the uh, uh, partition uh, flexible up to your uh, base uh, application. And again, uh, one design uh, applied to multiple uh, platform, multiple generation, and support, uh, uh, for example, uh, how to optimization, safe uh, application, or any other uh, um, CSP uh, storage solution, virtualization. So uh, Supermicro uh, apply all the uh, security, uh, all the safety, and all the software compatibility, uh, including uh, uh, SAP or Oracle or uh, Red Hat. Uh, all those uh, operating system application uh, have been uh, uh, kind of compliance optimized for you. So when you select Supermicro top-loaded uh, storage, you don't have to uh, worry about 
hey, uh, how long need to take a uh, the time? How long for rehabilitation? How long to apply those uh, compliance, uh, those security? She will take care of all those for you, including kind of like a uh, ROT, do the old trust security feature. Again, she will help you. HCI, uh, hyper converge infrastructure. Uh, she will have uh, uh, six product line for you to select from. From uh, uh, the cost efficient uh, performance, cost uh, most balanced uh, product line to a really high end, exactly application uh, performance optimized select form uh, platform, all up to your choice. Here, for example, uh, uh, the two product line, uh, Twin Pole and our Big Twin, both are two U support two knob or four knob, uh, depends on your application, and support uh, uh, Intel platform, uh, PCIe Gen 3 or Gen 4, uh, from very uh, um, cost uh, balancing uh, performance uh, combination to uh, uh, exactly the uh, highest co-count highest performance, uh, 250 watt CPU, all supported. Uh, when you want uh, all flash array, uh, doesn't matter one U or two U or other form factor, we have complete choice for you. For example, here, uh, one U support a um, regular drive or a kind of a, a SATA SSD, uh, SAS SSD, or PCIe MVME. Or if you want higher performance, uh, you know, even though latency, higher bandwidth, we support Intel uh, Optane uh, SSD. And if you like the newest uh, storage uh, form factor, kind of uh, EDSFF short, EDSFF short, uh, half uh, petabyte in one U, or EDSFF long, or one U, half petabyte, or one U, one petabyte. All of the product line have been in production for more than one year. Again, uh, we offer many multiple uh, for your choice. UP or DP, Intel, very high performance, or kind of cost efficient, uh, all up to your choice. Some customers say, hey, I want something faster, even better than uh, uh, traditional uh, PCIe MVME. Supermicro, do you have a solution? Yes, for sure. We work with Intel very closely. We support Intel um, Optane uh, DC persistent uh, storage. It's a kind of dim type uh, storage device uh, based on Intel Optane technology. With that, we have a 1UDP uh, or 1U 4-way, or 2U DP, 2U 4-way, or 4U, up to your choice. So with that, um, you are able to uh, boost your system for really best uh, latency and best uh, data bandwidth. For example, some uh, really fast uh, analytics application or some other uh, uh, really uh, fast database-driven application. We have all of that. Again, whatever you want, Chibu Michael are happy to be your best partner to design the hardware and manufacture the hardware and support you globally for your business model requirement. So, I mean, uh, other than uh, myself, Chibu Michael, uh, product director, uh, today I'm very happy to invite a really uh, HCI storage application company, uh, the best company in the industry, uh, New Tennis. New Tennis CEO, Diraj, has been my very old friend and very good partner. We grow a uh, uh, business together and he grow his company so fast. <laughs> Let's ask him, how can he grow his business so fast? For sure, he is a software genius and platform genius, and especially with Super Michael Hardware support. So uh, thank you for Diraj and his team will share his vision and his product line, his new business model with us. I'm also very happy able to invite Intel storage BU head, Rob Cook. 
Rob is really expert, really expert for uh, um, 3D then flash for Octane technology. And very happy uh, today we are able to hear his vision and his plan and a new feature from his company, from his view. Other than that, I also uh, invited two of our senior uh, product director to share our story hardware in much more detail, including the features, the schedule, how to engage with Supermicro, and how can we support you for all this thing, for all your hardware demand. Before I hand over the section to them, I'd like to uh, make a conclusion and share the conclusion with you. The first conclusion, Supermicro is the best storage hardware design and manufacture company. We manufacture a product, design a product with best quality, best cost in mind. Thank you a lot to our building box solution and marine computing resource saving philosophy. So we are able to design a product better, consume less power and create less IT waste. And we are so happy to share with you all of those advantages. And because of building bulk solution, that's why we are able to build the inventory and to support you with much quicker lead time, especially when you have upside demand from your market. We are able to support you much quicker than others. That's first. Second, we have about 2,000 engineers globally and lots of really senior formal engineer, software engineer. So we are able to customize any firmware, any software management tool, management facility for you. And a uh, hardware security feature or a software security feature, including the latest ROT, Nude or Trust, it's become a, our standard a feature offering. And also, we not just design a product, uh, keep, the, we are, uh, keep the inventory for you, but we apply all the security compliance for you. Uh, FCC, UL, uh, um, most uh, major countries' security requirement, uh, SAP, Oracle, or NAPS, or uh, uh, like a Red Hat uh, operating system or other application. So we apply all of those uh, uh, software and uh, uh, make sure the product is ready. And when you need, it's ready for you. You don't have to uh, spend the time to apply, to validate, and you don't have to spend the money. Number three, service. You know, as a global company, we not just offer product, system label, or rack label. We can integrate all of your software or application in the whole rack and ship the rack to your customer around the world. So when your customer receive the product, they just plug and play. So make the, your business model much easier. And not just uh, uh, service uh, uh, globally, but also on-site service, on-site maintenance, including on-site spare parts because of building bulk solution. So it makes those on-site service, those on-site spare parts much easier much cost efficiently for us to prepare for you. Because lots of subsystems we share across different platforms, across different generation of product, and across many different customers. So we leverage each other and lower the cost, improve the lead time, and improve the quality. So all of those, I'm very happy to share with you. And that be your best storage and other system uh, hardware partner. Very sad that coronavirus threaten is not over yet. So I want to take this chance to help you keep yourself super safe and keep your family, your employee really safe. And let's grow business together and hopefully to see you in person face to face very soon. Please keep safe and happy to grow with you. Thank you.
Thank you, Charles, for giving me an opportunity to talk about our partnership. Uh, first of all, I commend the entire Supermicro Salesforce for truly being the most iconic web scale platform sellers. You know, uh, you know your products go everywhere that we hear the word web scale. Uh, and Nutanix, uh, as a company, is about going and building web scale uh, infrastructure. So the two uh, companies are really built for each other. Uh, we are uh, doing so many things together with hyper-converged infrastructure, but there's an immense opportunity ahead of us to really go and elevate this discussion to uh, you know, digital infrastructure. You know, what does it mean to really think about uh, web-scale architecture with hardware, web-scale architecture with software, and then software-defined data center, uh, developer DevOps products, and uh, digital desktops and you know, end-user computing and digital workspaces. Uh, so I know that uh, there's going to be a lot of discussion around uh, with Tarkin and Avinash and everybody else talking about this too. But uh, I see an immense opportunity between the two companies. Uh, we have barely scratched the surface. I look forward to learning from you. I look forward to even uh, meeting a lot of you. Uh, I know COVID situation uh, makes it hard. Thank you. Uh, stay safe. Uh, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Thank you for uh, making us part of this uh, great event. Um, I'm Tarkan Miner, uh, Chief Commercial Officer at Nutanix, and super excited to be part of this uh, great virtual event. Um, I'm dialing in uh, from my home office in uh, Palo Alto, California. It's a sunny afternoon, and uh, I'm wearing my most favorite shirt, the Falcon, SpaceX Falcon the uh, highest capacity payload rocket ever built, uh, launched in 2018 as the precursor to our new Starship program that NASA is leading with Department of Defense. And obviously this reminds me a little bit our, um, uh, about our relationship with Supermicro for um, our customers and partners, a rocket ship, a very high uh, uh, capacity payload partnership that is, bringing tons of new products, tons of new uh, use cases, and success for our customers through a great channel ecosystem. So in a sense, I would love to start by saying Nutanix loves Supermicro. So on that note, a little bit of background uh, where we are as uh, Nutanix. Uh, as you all know, we're uh, going through our massive transformation from a hardware to software, software to uh, subscription business as a truly multi-cloud company, delivering solutions on-prem and off-prem uh, for enterprise customers, for commercial customers and public customers globally. And that transformation is moving very fast. Uh, and and uh, we obviously finalized the hardware to software transformation with great partnerships like Supermicro. And now that subscription transformation is almost uh, uh, finalized. So uh, we're getting great momentum in our multi-channel, multi-product, multi, -product, multi uh, cloud uh, strategy, bringing uh, all this optionality to give more choice to our customers. On the multi-channel, a complete new one partner program tying our ISPs, IPVs, our independent platform partners like Supermicro, uh, our GSI partners like Vipro and, and HCL and Capgemini and Accenture, our ISP partnerships like with SAP, Splunk, Palo Alto Networks, and now tying in to all of these are telco service provider partnerships, our cloud partnerships like AWS and Azure, on top of some of the things that we're doing with our channel teams around resellers and distributors, a complete one partner program to execute for our customers. So our partners uh, find a greater, uh, more successful company like Nutanix to achieve their goals for our customers. So, and obviously tying this to our multi-product strategy, uh, obviously we started this amazing new segment working with Supermicro 10 years ago around hyper-converged infrastructure, what we call in a sense our digital infrastructure end-to-end, -end, bringing compute network storage in a very smart scale-up way together. Now on top of that, three core segments we're going after with our data center services, DevOps services and desktop services. Obviously with data center services around our compute storage and distinct and discrete networking capabilities, DR backup and recovery capabilities for operational users. Uh, these are the runtime solutions to make the data center better. At the same time on the DevOps front, working with developers and DevOps folks with our solutions around application lifecycle management, uh, multi 
iCloud cost optimization and automation, and time to this overall a secure to play for DevOps folks to deliver better applications from legacy to new microservices oriented cloud native modern app applications for customers to run their applications in a multi cloud fashion. And obviously, time to this to our desktop services around our VDI capabilities for those customers who care about knowledge workers and professional workers working with Citrix and VMware with our end-to-end -end, uh, capabilities, supporting these broker systems that like Citrix and VMware to give the right user experience to knowledge workers and professional workers. At the same time, for task workers who use a lot of Windows applications, maybe a few at a time, uh, contractors, a, a new set of users who really want to work from home, work from the go, not necessarily have to go to a office, but even in an office to use any platform, just a browser-based solution, delivering non-broker solution, a complete Windows desktop, and also support some of the web applications from the browser securely in a managed way with the USB redirection capability to support a new digital workspace, peripherals and applications simply. So covering end-to-end -end task workers, knowledge workers, and professional workers with a low cost, high cost performance capability, again, with Nutanix software and supermarket hardware. So bringing all these things together for any use case from legacy to new cloud native applications on any platform and obviously for any type of cloud, which takes me to our multi-cloud strategy, delivering our customers these solutions on-prem as well as off-prem in three ways, both through Nutanix cloud, our own cloud services that we deliver via our own billing, payments, logistics, and service capabilities with colo partners like Equinix, like Sixterra, like, like DRT and few others, where we work very closely with supermarket to deliver these solutions together on our uh, hardware software portfolio together for the customers to have that choice. In addition to the Nutanix Cloud, also supporting you, our customers, through different telco service partnerships like we have with NTT in Japan and in UK and US, with SoftBank in China and Japan, Alibaba in China, Verizon in the US, and few others in play right now in EU uh, countries like Spain with Telefonica, taking that relation now to Latin America, working together. Some new work we're doing in Taiwan, in China, with some of the telcos, and obviously Supermicro Partnership creates that optionality for customers, these telcos and service providers, to become a partner to deliver this subscription model to end users so they have the choice. They can do, go to a Nutanix Cloud to consume our software as a service through Nutanix Cloud on Supermicro hardware, also to a choice of their telco or service provider locally in their respective region, in Taiwan, in Australia with Telstra, in, in, in Spain with Telefonica, uh, with, with, uh, uh, with Telecom Italia in, in Italy, uh, with OVH in France, with Verizon in the US, and some of that work obviously happening with Supermicro. And most importantly, the third leg of that multi-cloud strategy is our hyperscaler partnerships are very important. Uh, the red box here on the slide basically showing you how we work with Azure AWS, a bare metal service globally, again, to give you our customers, our joint customers with Supermicro, the optionality that you can work with any of these cloud services or on-prem, depending on your needs, to cost optimize, to have that optionality. Bottom line, we are super excited about this partnership. And this is not only around storage, even though we know storage super well, from block to file to object, from scale up to scale out, across multiple clouds and multiple applications from legacy to cloud native. As a backup target or backup source, how do we manage this end-to-end -end storage capability it ties into all these pieces together, again, from data center overall to DevOps to desktop, on an end-to-end -end digital infrastructure designed with security, manageability, reliability, scalability in mind. So as customers grow, as you grow, we grow with you. So bottom line is, we are super excited about this partnership. This is just a starting point. We're just getting warmed up. And the past 10 years was just a precursor for the next 10 years. Again, remember this. Nutanix loves Supermicro, and most importantly, we love our customers. And we love our partners who help our customers reach their business goals. So on that note, uh, really appreciate the opportunity to be part of this. I know you have tons of presentations and PowerPoint slides and videos. All you need to remember is we love you guys, and we're looking forward to working with you for the next 10 years. Thank you so much.
Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, my name is Avinash Shetty. I am the Senior Director of Corp Strategy at Nutanix. First of all, a big thank you to uh, Supermicro for giving us this opportunity to speak as part of this um, event and giving us really prime stage uh, as far as speaking slots is concerned. Uh, as Deeraj and Tarkin mentioned, uh, Supermicro and Nutanix have a long-standing relationship and over the past 10 years, uh, we've built some great things together and we continue to build on that foundation. Now, my topic today in contrast seems quite cliched uh, in that I'm gonna kick things off really talking about digital transformation. Uh, what does digital transformation really mean? Um, for me, initially, I really thought of it as yet another marketing or an analyst buzzword. Uh, but I soon started to internalize some of the challenges that business owners are facing, especially in environments like today. Um, in the current environment, what you want is your business to be digital so that your customers, your partners, prospects, uh, as well as your employees communicate with you in a very seamless fashion. So what does it take for an IT organization to become quite digital? Well, the first piece of that puzzle really revolves around people and the commitment and the buy-in to really get into this mode, uh, this transformative mode about thinking about your business. And the second piece, again, most businesses will probably have to make some process changes to align where their uh, target audience is gonna be and how they currently do business. But I think the biggest piece of the puzzle here is really around how businesses run their IT organizations. And that, in today's world, is gonna be the most transformative way in which you can become a digital company. So when you start rethinking the data center design, um, I think the first thing that comes to mind is really the cloud. Um, and the cloud really has transformed the way in which we do business. Uh, so if you th take the three most popular cloud vendors out there, uh, whether that's AWS or Azure or GCP, there are a few things they bring to the table that's drastically different from the way you do business today. So some of those differences rely on things like the fact that a cloud is generally speaking more software defined in nature, the fact that it actually follows a methodology where the systems are self-healing rather than people actually managing those systems on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, there's rich analytics, there's a lot of automation that's happening behind the scenes uh, so that people don't have to do those things um, and machine learning and so on and so forth can step in and fill those gaps. And last but not least, uh, there's no single point of failure. So things are expected to go down and they will. And the system just goes on as though nothing happened. Now, it's not to say that the cloud isn't without its set of challenges. There are absolutely challenges here, um, and I'm not gonna list all of them, but the two biggest that we see is cost and compliance, right? If you're running something 24 seven, 365, and you have to worry about you know, regulations or where your data sits and so on and so forth, there's lots of challenges when it comes to the cloud. But again, benefits and, and side effects, as is the case with most things out there. So the real question is, can we redesign the data center to be more cloud-like? In other words, can you build something that has the same software-defined nature, the same tenancies around no single point of failure and so on and so forth, but at the same time do it on the on-prem side so that you get away with some of the downsides, which is around cost and compliance. So imagine for a second your data center on the right here uh, being organized structurally exactly the way data centers are run inside of AWS and Azure and so on and so forth, right? So now you have the foundation, if you will, to start your digital transformation journey. Um, compute, storage, hypervisors, et cetera, become an abstraction layer uh, where software really becomes the front end center with a nice front end to manage that uh, software layer in front of, in front of it. So now that you have the solid foundation, uh, let's think about service delivery. The cloud service vendors out there uh, don't necessarily have an individual hardware component sitting on the back end 
to deliver things around the service uh, ecosystem. So take a few services, for example, you have file services, block services, database services, disaster recovery, backup, et cetera, et cetera. So the, all of these services in a cloud environment are necessarily individual hardware components that are filling that gap. It's really, again, that same software-centric design that's carrying forward. So your cloud on the right, your private data center needs to mimic that. So let's assume it does, okay? So now you have a delivery service that's entirely driven in software. And now, you know, if I were to draw a bubble around our cloud, that's essentially our service layer. So I have my core foundation, and now I have this bubble, which is nothing but my services layer running on top, again, in the same so software-centric scale-out approach, all right? The next step is you're always gonna run into from a business standpoint, having certain applications or certain infrastructure running on-prem, and there's always gonna be the need for something sitting on AWS or Azure or GCP or any one of these other clouds. So what you need is a management layer that spans across cloud boundaries. Um, and so what that management layer needs to do is everything from analytics and insights but to more complicated things like automation, orchestration, looking at the most cost optimal way of delivering those services. Is it cheaper to run that on-prem? Is it cheaper to run it on AWS or Azure or what have you? And then finally to make sure that regardless of where you run, you're within the compliance of what your business requirements are. Now, once you do that step, your final step is really around seamless cloud migrations. Um, and so let's say you have an application that here starts out on the right side in your private cloud, and it turns out that for cost or compliance or a wide variety of reasons, needs to migrate to an AWS ecosystem or an Azure ecosystem, or it's currently in AWS and Azure and needs to move back to the on-prem uh, on side of the house. You want a mechanism in your abstraction layer that allows these applications to seamlessly migrate across clouds. So these are some of the challenges, if you will, that every customer out there is facing. And a way to deliver some of these is really by re-architecting and building a framework that follows these mechanisms. Okay, one such customer who's gone on this journey is International Speedway Corporation. Uh, now you can imagine just as any other business, these guys wanted to go on their uh, cloud transformation journey. And if you look in this picture here, what you'll see is they're essentially, you know, managing races, right? Um, you see a race course, you see all those people in the audience there. Uh, those are their end customers. Uh, and if you think about transforming that business, what they need to do is keep their databases of uh, all of their users online at all times. Uh, when they when a race is on, their entire ticketing system and analytics engine behind that has to be uh, completely fueled and ready to go so that when they think about digital journeys, um, you know that is a robust, robust system. So International Speedway actually started running on Nutanix uh, a few years ago and built uh, their entire data center from the ground up uh, based on the Nutanix ecosystem. Uh, so they obviously started with modernizing their data center using Nutanix AOS. Um, they actually adopted our virtualization solution right off the bat. And then from there, they ran all their business critical applications directly on top of this uh, solution, um, eventually uh, consuming services such as files and so on and so forth as well. So again, really um, a way to digitally transform their business by thinking about Nutanix as the underlying platform. Uh, I especially like David Luke's comment here around uh, what benefits they saw, and you can read that quote for yourself, but some of the big things is 50 to 90% faster completion on their database processes. And what that directly translates to is really the speed of doing business in a digital environment. And it wasn't just International Speedway uh, that saw these benefits. Uh, along with our partnership with Supermicro, we have tens and thousands of customers uh, who actually run our solution on top of Supermicro 
um, and really see success in a wide variety of use cases. And if you look at these customers, they come from wide variety of backgrounds, all the way from healthcare to financial services to automotive and so on and so forth. Again, across the board, customers who want to digitally uh, transform their business have basically trusted both Supermicro and Nutanix to do so. Uh, our partnership at Supermicro for me personally started uh, pretty much on day one. Uh, I started about seven years ago here at Nutanix. And since day one, I've been engaged with, Super, with Supermicro in some way, shape, form. Uh, and I can tell you from my personal experience, this, that foundation that we built that partnership on is stronger ever uh, than ever before today. So we continue to build on that relationship. We continue to uh, see Supermicro as a great partner going forward. Um, and I'm super excited to be working uh, with them on the next few years of our journey. So thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Thank you to D. Raj and my good friend Charles. Hello to all my virtual friends and colleagues out there. Certainly an honor to be speaking to you, at least virtually today. I'm Rob Crook, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the non Memory Solutions Group, or the Memory Guy at Intel. I hope that you and your loved ones are staying safe and healthy during the coronavirus pandemic. And let me begin by thanking each of you for being here today and giving me a chance to share with you why I'm excited about our opportunity to create world-changing technology that enriches the lives of every person on Earth. Now, Intel has a long history of collaboration and partnership with Supermicro, built on a solid foundation for the past 27 years, always driving each other to innovate. Supermicro has been a trusted leader on Intel memory and storage products, including creating platforms utilizing the 3D NAND EDSFF ruler form factor, the first Optane SSD solutions for their customers, and now are leading the way for PCIe Gen 4 SSDs for our Ice Lake platform later this year. Thank you to Charles and the whole Supermicro team. The world's ability to generate data and the insatiable appetite for the insight that comes from it continues to grow whether it's captured or created in the data center or increasingly at the edge by billions of connected devices. We will need more connectivity, more storage capacity, and more analytic horsepower to deliver on the insight from all of this data. We see the data centric gear emerging at the intersection of three technology megatrends, the shift to cloud, the rapid emergence of AI, and the cloudification of the network and edge. The scale and efficiency of cloud architectures that started at the hyperscalers was built on Intel architecture and innovations like Intel virtualization technology. It drove the penetration of non-volatile memory as data center storage to feed those many virtual machines on cloud platforms. Artificial intelligence gives us new tools to gain insights and generate economic value from vast amounts of data today and in the future. And the same concepts and technologies that enabled the cloud are now transforming the network, cloudifying it, allowed it to flex and scale, moving more computing to the edge, closer to where the data is created and consumed to alleviate network congestion and improve the delays to gain real-time insights. We must innovate with new architecture and technology in order to store more move faster and process everything to unleash the value of this data explosion. Workloads are not homogenous and must increasingly customize the store, move and process architectures based on performance, quality of service, new capabilities and efficiency requirements with an integrated platform view across CPU, storage and connectivity to optimize for those varying workloads. Now here at Intel, we see memory and storage as part of an evolving hierarchy with the CPU's internal memories at the top, then DRAM, SSDs, 
hard disks at the bottom of what you could envision as a pyramid. Now, back in 1985, our 3DX micro 3D6 microprocessor had no cache. Intel introduced the level one cache with a 46 microprocessor, then to two layers, and now it's common for CPUs to have three or more layers of caching before you even get to DRAM. Now these insertions were driven by the rate at which the CPU was accelerating its performance versus the capability of the next level of memory. Another example is SSDs. When introduced in the mid 2000s, added another layer in the hierarchy, which is now pervasive in the data center. The basic rule is that any time you can get greater than the 10x capacity and better than 10x the performance loss or vice versa, we have the opportunity to insert a new layer. These new layers are where Intel has focused over the past few years. Due to DRAM bit scaling falling off of Moore's law growth significantly, we created Optane Data Center Persistent Memory sharing the dim form factor, providing much larger working sets than DRAM with 100 times lower latency than NAND SSDs, which are the tier below. This fills the capacity gap from the much smaller DRAM capacities. Now for very much larger amounts of wicked fast storage, we fill a storage performance gap with Intel Optane SSDs on the NVMe interface, bringing storage another 10x closer to the processor than NAND with very high capacity capabilities. Now turning to our innovative and scalable 3D NAND, there is a need for higher capacity storage with performance that enables more analytics and hard drives are just too far away from the CPU for performance. Now our 3D NAND layer counts, more bits per cell, new form factors and faster interfaces are enabling us to fill that cost performance gap with the highest aerial density in the industry. The future of our 3D NAND SSD technology will quickly transition to 144 layer and PCIe Gen 4, enabled in the Q420 2020 Ice Lake platform. Now Intel has a wide range of form factors for data center and client systems, from 2.5 inch drives created to replace hard disks in the same form factor before it, to new and innovative devices like the EDSFF or ruler form factor to transform the way data centers maintain their storage environment. This wide range of form factors are focused on what our customers need to be successful. These three innovations, Intel Optane Data Center Persistent Memory, Intel Optane SSDs, and Intel 3D NAND are synergistic when used together with Intel Xeon scalable processors to solve complex systems problems in a platform connected, better together way. System integrators are increasingly finding new and innovative ways to uncover the Intel strategic advantage to re-architect their data center hierarchy and unleash the power of the processor. All of these innovative products are available today on Supermicro systems, so make sure you're making the right choice when you're configuring your product. Now, I wanted to give you a high-level view of what some customers are doing with these innovative game-changing solutions. Three of the primary target markets for our Intel Optane technology are databases, analytics and AI, and virtualized infrastructure. Now, I'm showing some examples of how early adopters are finding significant value from these products in the data center and turning their data from a burden into an asset. In general, our customers are looking to increase performance or save money or both at the same time, and we're helping them achieve those goals. Optane Persistent Memory can significantly accelerate database applications by increasing the amount of data accessible to the compute at near memory speeds. This can provide significant increases in transaction throughput while at the same time reducing transaction latency, allowing more users on a given server and reducing costs. Now this leads to more efficient in-memory databases for SAP, 10x faster queries in Oracle databases, eight times faster queries in Apache Spark Analytics Insights, and lower costs, up to 38% in SAS data analytics at a lower total cost of ownership. And our Optane Persistent Memory and Optane SSDs can greatly enhance the virtualized infrastructure by providing more virtual machines at similar costs or provide a vast improvement in the number of users concurrently using 
the virtual machines. Now, these are just a few examples of how our customers are disrupting their memory and storage hierarchy to gain new and exciting insights, unleashing the value of their data. To hear more, I recommend you attend the breakout sessions today, especially the one on hyperconverged infrastructure led by my colleagues at Intel, where you will uncover more ways hyperconverged infrastructure is significantly improved with Intel Optane SSD technologies. Now, I hope I've given you a small amount of insight into Intel's innovations and the ways we are disrupting the memory and storage hierarchy that will enable our customers while transforming their infrastructure to gain insights and value from the massive explosion of data. Here at Intel, we come to work every day to work on wicked hard technology problems targeted by a holistic platform strategy together with our customers like Supermicro and partners like you in a way that changes the world. Together, we will create world-changing technology that enriches the lives of every person on Earth. Thank you for joining me. Hi everyone, my name is Jerry, Director of System Solutions over at Supermicro, and I'm here to talk to you guys about storage solutions. So when we do take a look at the overall storage solutions, we see a migration from your standard storage solutions, then it's going to add some compute with our rack mounts, which is going to offer you a variety of compute as well as storage. And then there's multi-nodes to give you additional compute, and then GPU optimized as well as blade. So depending on what your type of uh, requirements are going to be, um, we basically have a solution that can tackle pure storage, a combination of storage and compute, and then leading more to compute with the few storage. As we take a look at the evolution of storage, we're migrating from the SATA SSD going into NVMe. And as you can see from the overall product breadth from Supermicro, we have some of the densest solutions when it comes to all flash NVMe that we incorporated to these select models. So when you're looking for high bandwidth, high IOPS, and lower latency, look no further to these particular solutions. We have densities in a 1U form factor that's going to give you up to 20 NVMe drives. And we also have high node capacities that will enable all flash NVMe to those particular solutions. We also have hybrid solutions that also give you the flexibility to incorporate SATA, SAS, or NVMe, depending on what your storage profile is needed. So in these particular solutions, what we see right here is going to be a full line of ultra storage as well as big twin solution to give you the all flash NVMe portfolios. As we talked about the all flash NVMe portfolio itself, I also want to direct your attention to our hybrid solutions. So NVMe is one of those things that Supermicro has really spearheaded and started enabling on every single one of our platforms. So as you can see here, between the multi-nodes to the single nodes, you know, depending on what your flavor is, Supermicro has basically embedded some form of NVMe technology into these particular platforms. So now let me direct your attention to one of our flagship products, which is the Ultra platforms. There are enterprise class solutions. What Ultra brings to the table is the combination of compute, storage, as well as expansion capabilities. So in this particular platform is our latest 1U12 NVMe. So as we take a look at the overall storage capabilities of our 1U12 Ultra platform, what you can expect is a combination of NVMe, SATA, and SAS through a controller. So in this particular case, if you're looking for 12 NVMe, or 10 and 2 SATAs, or 6 and 6 and 2 and 10, you have the capability of having that type of configuration within this storage platform. Now within each one of these drives, they're toolless drives, so you don't need any screws to pop in the 2.5 inch 15 millimeters, and you're pretty much ready to go. As we look at the overall storage configurations you can have on our 1U12 bay, typical 1Us incorporate 10 drives. In this particular solution, you now have 12 hybrid drives themselves. That's a 20% increase in the overall capacity of the 1U form factor. Also, another note, within this configuration itself, you can support your standard 2.5 15-millimeter drives. So other than storage, what Ultra also brings to the table is going to be the performance compute factor. 
So in this particular case, it's a DP solution supporting the latest 205 watt processors and you have a total of 24 DIMMs, which half of them can be utilized for Intel DCPMM, the persistent memory. So you can actually expand your overall memory pool to up to nine terabytes. Within the Ultra platform, you have expansion capabilities which you can add your own networking as well as storage cards depending on what your configuration you're looking for. In regards to the onboard networking, you also have the capability of choosing either dual 25G, dual 10G, dual 10G SFP plus plus dual 10G, or a no NIC option in which you can leverage our expansion slots to incorporate your own networking card or your own storage controllers, depending on what your overall configuration is going to be. Now, you're also gonna have eight high-powered fans to cool down the overall system, and each Ultra also comes standard with a redundant power supply. And if for those customers that are looking for DC options, we have those optional parts as well. The next product I wanna bring your attention to is going to be our 2U24 All Flash NVMe platform, which is also an Ultra platform. So within the Ultra family, you're also gonna get a DP solution supporting the latest 205 watts, the 24 DIMMs that we talked about before. But on this particular portion, within the 2U form factor, you now have 24 NVMe drives to have even higher density. So if you're looking for a larger storage pool, not only do you have the storage capability, but you also have the compute as well as the expansion capability on this platform itself. So in terms of expansion, this particular 2U platform will offer two 4x16s, one on each processor. And this is going to be ideal when you add your 100 gigabit Ethernet cards for each processor itself to give you that balanced design. One additional highlight that we have with the Ultra family itself is that it's a modular design, which means that we have one motherboard throughout our whole series. So when we do take a look at our 1U and 2U form factor for the compute, it's pretty much gonna be identical with the CPU and memory support. The differences come into play, the form factor of the physical chassis, as well as for the storage and the expansion capabilities. The next product that I wanna to talk to you guys about is gonna be our Big Twin platform. And Big Twin's actually gonna offer you a lot of great benefits if you're looking for node density within the 2U form factor. For this Big Twin solution, it's gonna be our 2U four node 24 base solution. Within these 24 bays, they're gonna be all flash NVMe. So that means we have six drives per node. Now, as I flip this around, you can see some of the great benefits that we have in this 2U dense system itself. Within the big twin solution itself, you have a 2U form factor with the four nodes. Each one of these nodes are hot swappable and independent of each other. Within each node, you have the compute capability of supporting two processors as well as 24 DIMMs. That's one of the largest DIMM count you can get within this 2U four node form factor. What we also incorporated here is two full by 16 low profile cards. So you can throw in your own networking storage controllers into this particular configuration. We also enhance the overall node itself by offering SIOM, Super IO module. This is something new that we integrated with a lot of our different product lines from the Big Twin to the storage solutions itself. And what this is gonna allow you to do, it's gonna offer you ultimate flexibility when it comes to the overall network capabilities within each node. So each one of these nodes can have an SIOM module up to 100 gigabits per second. Now within this particular class itself, you also have two redundant power supplies, 2,600 watts. So this is fully capable of supporting all four nodes simultaneously. So another key benefit is our resource saving feature, allowing you to reduce the overall footprint of up to 50% when you compare this to a standard 2U with equivalent performance. This will offer you better TCO as well as significantly reducing your overall e-waste. As we take a look at the overall family that we have for the solutions themselves, you'll notice that Supermicro does have the product breadth and depth when it comes to storage and compute, as well as merging these two things together. So when you're looking for your next storage solution, look no further than to Supermicro. Hi, my name is Paul McLeod. I'm a product director here at Supermicro, responsible for the storage servers. So as you've seen in the previous presentation, we have a huge portfolio of products. Many of them could be considered storage. So from a portfolio perspective, 
Supermicro started in a building block type architecture where we, where we had these, uh, all these different hardware components that could come together and like a Lego block, you could configure a system to any sort of application that re that's required. Looking at the far right of, of the current slide here, we have our top loading systems that are density optimized for 3.5 inch hard drives. So we have top loading, we have our simply double line, which doubles the capacity of the server in that familiar 2U form factor. And then we have 1U servers that are optimized for things like Hadoop and object storage, where you want a smaller server and maybe you're using a, a smaller network to get that kind of uh, optimized performance. On the far end of the, of the spectrum, we have our 1U32 line, which again is very much optimized for very high capacity, all flash workloads. Today I'm proud to introduce our latest server here, which is an improvement to our top loading line. So taking a lot of our customers' feedback, one of the things that they, they wanted to see in our servers was improved serviceability and the ability to, for their people to be able to manage our servers with a single person in the data center. So with that said, we took our platform and we optimized it. We made it so another addition to the feature set of, of this server is multi-nodes. So our current platforms are only single node, and now we've added multi-nodes. So this means that I can have two nodes that are share nothing, so like a twin architecture. Supermicro has revolutionized, where a server has half the drives in the top loading system, and the other server has the other half. Or we can have a what's called an SBB line, where it is an active failover uh, supported system, so both server nodes can access the drive, supporting a high availability implementation. And finally, Supermicro is software-defined. Some people hear that and they go, what do you mean software-defined? What that really means is the power of our systems is greatly enhanced by our partnerships out there in the industry. So storage needs something to drive it. It needs something to protect it. It needs something to allow it to move from one place to another. And with our partnerships, we are able to deliver the very best storage out there. And again, most, most of today's startups know that, and they come to us and they say, hey, I'm doing this, this new thing. We are very open to this type of conversation, because again, we want to make sure that we're delivering the best hardware for next generation storage applications. And that's what I have for today. Thank you very much. Learn more at supermicro.com, powered by Intel.